Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my April favourites. Hooray! Um, I'm actually really, really glad that this month is over. It went by very quickly. It was a very jam-packed month for me. But I'm so glad it's over and I'm so glad for the month of May to be here. Um, if you guys didn't know, May is my birthday month. So, yippee! I am going to be 20 very shortly. Um, yeah, I am super, super excited. I cannot wait for my birthday. I just I just feel like 20 is going to be such a milestone for me. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so let's just get on to the favourites. Okay, so the first favourite that I have is the Garnier Micellar, I think it's pronounced, or whatever, cleansing water. It's basically a dupe for Bioderma. I do have a first impressions on this, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. Um, I shook mine up, that's why there's like heaps of frothy stuff up the top, but yeah, um, I just think this stuff is really, really good. I was never... I had to break out of the habit of using um, makeup remover wipes, but once I got out of that habit, this stuff has been amazing. Like, I've used so much of it. Um, it claims to have 200 uses in this 400ml bottle, and you can pick this up on sale for like, I don't know, $8. I paid full price of like $12 or $13, which is amazing, and it just works really, really, really good. And then another skincare product, this is by Elizabeth Arden. This is just a little deluxe sample size that I got around the Christmas times. Um, it's their 8 hour cream intensive daily moisturizer. And it has SPF 15 PA 2 star. And I don't know, I just really, really like it. It's just, it absorbs into my skin really nicely and it feels really, really nice on my skin. So, works well for me. The Max Factor Face Finity all Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. I picked this up when Priceline was doing the 40% off sale. My friend Fran got in early and picked this up for me, so thank you, Fran. Um, I have mine in the shade Crystal Beige, number 33. And, yeah, I just really, really like this. This is the exact same stuff, I'm assuming, as the CoverGirl Outlast Stay All Day 3-in-1 Foundation. Um, they're both made by PNG. So I'm going to assume that they are the exact same thing. Yeah, I just picked up the Max Factor one because the colour is more yellow, while I found the CoverGirl was a bit too pink for my skin, and this seems to work really, really nicely. Okay, so my next favourite is a bronzer. Um, I'm not too sure if my haul video will be up of this, but basically I picked this up from Sephora, and um, a friend brought it back for me. But this is the Makeup Forever matte bronze bronzing powder in the shade 20 which is the lighter shade it comes in and this stuff is so good smells like sour worms i think at least that's what it reminds me of and you literally use so little product it is so 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 good and the color doesn't look like artificial or anything like that it honestly looks like you've been in the sun and you're getting like bronzed from the sun for highlighters, I have two highlighters to show you. The first one's by Ilamasca and it's a cream highlighter. It's called the Gleam Highlighter slash Illuminator in the shade Aurora, I believe it's pronounced. I really, really like this stuff. It's like Benefit High Beam in like a cream compact. It is so, so, so good and you need the tiniest amount. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. And then the next highlighter is one that I've had for quite some time now. And I don't know, I just forgot about him for a little bit. But it's basically NARS Albatross Highlighter. It looks like this and it's just super, super pretty. Moving on to eyeshadow, I've been obsessed with two products actually. The first one being the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow in the shade No Pressure. I really, really like this, especially paired with the palette that I'm going to include next. But this basically just is a really, really nice base. It's really thin in consistency. It's not the same as like a Maybelline Color Tattoo. I feel like a Maybelline Color Tattoo is a lot more thick and hard to apply to the eye. These are really, really smooth and creamy. And I really, really like that. And then the palette is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I've owned this for quite some time also. And I haven't really gotten into it until lately. But I've been really, really getting into it again. Um, especially combined with the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow, it honestly adds such a, like, such depth to the eye, like, layering different textures and so forth. It just makes your eye look really, really nice, and, like, you need hardly any effort. Like, I'll put on the Benefit No Pressure, and then I'll just put in Naked 2 in the crease, and it honestly looks gorgeous. 
Moving on to the last three things, I have a mascara combination for you guys. So I've still been loving the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes. I absolutely adore this stuff. It is so, so good. But if I feel like that's not enough for my eyelashes, then I will go in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara. Um, the wand in this... Okay... Well... <laughs> The wand in this is really, really cool. It's like a little claw shape. And I don't know. I really, really like it. I think it does a lot for my eyelashes. Maybe when it's not broken, it does a lot for my eyelashes. Okay, so the last product is this one right here. And I never realized how much of a difference this product made in my eyebrows. Um, but basically, this is Benefit Gimme Brow. It's supposed to add, like, fibers to your eyebrows and whatever. I have really, really sparse and, like, yeah... Basically, I went a week without this stuff, and then I used it again, and I was like, wow. Like, like it honestly makes a difference in the appearance of my eyebrows, and I don't think that I'll be converting away from this anytime soon, I don't think. Even if I do switch out like my brow powders and stuff, I think I'll always come back to this as my brow gel. I just think it's really, really nice, and I do honestly think it's worth the money if you have sparse eyebrows. Okay guys, so that's the end of my favourites video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what your favourites are down below and like some products that I can check out because you know me, I'm always after new products, which is horrible. But anyway, um, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.